Hey guys, it's Shannon and I am back today with a trunk club. Happy Black Friday. It is the day after Thanksgiving and I have decided I will just do my shopping here at home. But for all you bargain hunters out looking for great deals, I hope you have a great successful day. So this actually is a better trunk than I usually get. I, I don't get trunk club very often because I don't keep that much stuff. Um, I don't know if it, the clothes are just too fancy or fussy or what. I just They just don't always work for me. Um, but this one definitely, I think, fit my aesthetic better. And I'm excited for it. So let's jump right in. I'm wearing the first two pieces. The first piece is this little kind of creamy white sweater by One State. And it's called a Variegated Cable Crew Sweater. It was originally $89, but it got marked down in route to me so it's now like $59 so much better um this is an XL and I'll come closer it does have a cute little cable knit design it's got the poofier sleeves it is I like that it's shorter but it's not cropped so it definitely I'm not showing any tummy skin I like this I think it's cute I love just a really beautiful white sweater um the only thing is I have quite a few so but I might keep this because I just think it's cute and I do like to try to keep an item in every box I get um, with, the, with the exception of stitch fix because I get a lot of stitch fix boxes so I definitely feel like I support that company how do you guys feel about that when you order a box do you sort of feel like you need to keep something or do you feel like it's okay to send it all back I I think it's okay to send it all back if it's really terrible but I also feel like you have to have the intention of shopping or it's a little bit dubious I don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below am I being too paranoid or do you also try to keep at least one item in every box all right, so here's the sweater like this. This might be my keeper item. Um, next item I have on, let me back way up so you can see. These are the NYDJ skinny jeans um, in blue. These are $99, so not your daughter's jeans, size 12. I've never tried this brand before, but I like it. Oh my gosh, these feel so good. These feel so good. I think they look good, they feel good. Um, I'm not keeping these. Because $100 is a lot. I mean, I do spend $100 on jeans, but I have some Liverpool and cut from the cloth. But I do like this brand. And if I see it on sale, I think I will try it in the future. So, and if I needed jeans, I think I would keep these too. But yes, so we're off to a good start. Uh, let's keep going. So next I have on the CC Sportswear's Clip Dot Long Sleeve Blouse in blue. This is $79. I think this is cute. Um, I like, so I would say CC Sports Bears reminds me a lot of like Daniel Rain. It has like lots of fussy feminine details. Like it has like the pleating and it's got like a little kind of lace collar. It's got the poofy sleeves, the cheer, it's got dots, right? So I do like all those details. I just, I don't know if I love the shirt for the price. Also too, this is an XL and I think I, this might be better in a large for me just because it feels really balloony. But I think if I tucked it, it'd be okay. Like I said, I'm not blown away with this, even though this is definitely in my style aesthetic, just maybe not my favorite piece, but still um, a good choice by my stylist because I think this definitely looks like something I would wear. So next item is this um, orange, it's like a burnt orange sweater by the brand Aster. This is an extra large. This was about half price, it's $39.90. So I think it's, there's some really pretty details about this. Obviously I think this is really pretty up here like sort of the Pontel look. I think the color is sort of fun. I don't wear this color that often. I just don't love this neckline. I don't mind a crew neck, but I don't know, something just about this neckline and this Pontel just feels a little not great for me. But I like the price. I think it is cute. It's definitely something I would wear, you know, if I loved it. So yeah, another good choice by my stylist. All right, guys, so the next item in this trunk is probably the most sort of um, adventurous. This is by BP. It's a, a, they call it light pink. It's a square neck top, an extra large. It was originally 25, it's now 20. Um, as you can see, it is, it's a cropped shirt. Um, I actually think it's cute. I just don't, I just can't show my belly. So I went in my closet and found my highest waisted jeans and these are high, man, like my belly button and you can still see a little skin. So I just, 
I just don't know if as a 43 year old woman living in Minnesota with four kids that like this is like a comfortable look for me. Um, that doesn't mean it's not great for other 43 year old or 53 year old woman. You got to just do you. But for me, it like might not be my fave. But I think it's a cute idea. And yeah, I actually wanted to show you I have a very similar shirt already. Same color, same kind of band at the bottom. And this is just a smidge longer. So we're not showing any belly. But another question for you guys, are you doing the crop style? Are you willing to show a little skin? How do you feel about that as, um, you know, at your age? Like, is it comfortable or is it, does it feel a little bit odd? So let me know what you think. Okay, we'll keep going. All right, guys, I have three more pieces on. So the first item is this um, coat. This is by, it's a double breasted pea coat by Thread and Supply. It is half price, so it's $39.90, which is a good deal. And it's like a poly wool blend. Um, I'll back up here. This, I believe, is an extra large, color brown, obviously. So I think this actually is pretty cute. Um, I do like a lightweight coat. I live in Minnesota, but I lived in Minnesota for 20 years. So unless it is like below zero, I, a lightweight coat's perfect for me. I just, I run hot. So this is a good weight, even for the middle of winter here for me. Um, I don't have anything in this brown color. I do like, you know, the double button. I think it's cute. I think this is nice. The only thing is it's pretty fitted, so there isn't like a ton of room underneath, but I could probably definitely wear a sweater. And I'm not sure how often I would actually button it. So, and I do like the price on this, so yes. So this is a, definitely a possibility. The only thing is I wish it was a smidge longer, but I think it's actually meant to just be kind of right at the bottom of your rear because like it's fitting on my natural waist. So yes, so this is, I think, a possibility along with that white sweater. I do own a lot of coats, you guys, though. So that's the kind of one thing I'm thinking about. Do I want another, another coat in my closet? All right, next item. I was excited about this when I saw it in the preview, but I don't love it in person. This is a satin button-up shirt called, is it VC Collection in gray, extra large, $48. I used to love kind of satin shirts, I feel like in the late 90s, early 2000s, um, but this one just reminds me a little bit too much of a pajama shirt. The cut of it is just, maybe if I had gone down a size, but I just don't like the cut or the fit of it. And like I said, it just like looks a little too floppy and pajama-like. Um, but it makes me kind of want a satin shirt, so maybe I'll be on the hunt for that now. All right, so this is definitely going back, but not terrible idea. Um, and then the last item I have on right now are the, actually, these are the, these are a pair of jeans. I can't find them on my list. I'm sorry. Bootcut jeans by Wit and Wisdom. The, those are called the Itty Bitty Bootcut. And they're, they do have Absolution technology, which is what Democracy has. It has a like hidden stretchy waistband. So I think these, you guys, are too short. They're swinging above the heel of my shoe. So they do feel comfortable in the waist. Um, but just too short in the length. I know there's like a crop boot look. I just am not there for that. So, oh, and the price on the jeans, I think are $78. So not a bad price if they'd fit right, but just a little too short. All right, a few more items and then we'll be done. So we're down to the last two pieces. So I did receive a pair of black leggings by the brand Hue. These originally were 36 and now they're 27. I'm just not gonna even open these cause they're all like, kind of packaged nicely. I did accept these in my um, trunk preview, but I just don't think I would buy these. I have some black leggings. I don't wear leggings that often. I probably should have rejected them, but yeah, just not that interested in those, but the price is good. And I wonder, you know, if they're long enough, but um, these are, um, cot it's called cotton leggings. So they'd probably be nice and stretchy and soft, but I just am not gonna do that. All right, last item is this little white top. This is called the Frill Knit Top by Halogen extra large ivory. I believe it's on sale. It's $23 and 40 cents. So again, I think a large might've been better on this. Like I said, I'm always not sure about my size. Um, this is just like a really cute little top. I don't, I don't love this neckline. I, this reminds me of like a pajama top that Ma would wear on Little House on the Prairie, right? It's just a little too, a little too much. And again, I don't like when the fabric's so soft that it kind of like falls between your breasts, just not my fave. Um, but I like the price and I like the color and it's close, just not quite right. So that is my trunk club. It was better than some I've had. I've actually re received a trunk club and I filmed it and I never, uh, I never posted it because 
everything just looked so bad. Um, maybe I should post that just for fun. But anyway, this one was better, more in line with my style. And I definitely think I'm going to keep one piece. I'm not definitely probably the white sweater and maybe that coat. Um, I'm going to look at the video and see what I think. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and are feeling festive and healthy for upcoming Christmas holidays. Take care. Bye.